Okay. Um, oh man, this morning is pain. <laughs> One win, two draws. Pain so far. Can I? Can I just get a fifty percent? <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. How can I do that? Charlemagne. How can I do this? Okay, and I am. Pull myself together. He's not that high rated. What about a main line? Um, uh, try and get some fun out of the main line. Morris Smith is not that fun the way I'm playing it. Okay. Try and play uh, interestingly here with G4. Okay, it might be friendly ninety four, even there. Okay. So G five Bishop E three. Queen D2 console queenside. Looks like a fun position. Was F4 maybe castle kingside F5? I think castling queenside. Hmm, it's a bit off put now. This. Uh, this bishop b5 here, or, or allow it. I'm going to just play queen d2. No, I think I've got to play a4. I think that dictates that I'm going to be castling kingside. So I'm going to f4, castle, bishop f3, try and cover the weaknesses of it. I've got b5 to play with now, anyway. So if I castle f4, bishop f3. <clears throat> Taking a while here. Maybe he loses a lot on time in this sort of heron. A bit of a thinker, perfectionist or something. Right, so is he going to try and win pawn here with bishop c3? He can't really be serious about that, can he? Just in case, maybe I should play f3 or bishop f3. There's queen b6, I can't really... I could take on c5, uh, that's a bit radical, losing my light squares. Maybe just f3, and if queen b6 there's knight b5, or bishop b5. So this is against bishop c3, knight e4, just in case that is a threat. Okay, let's see how many games he's lost on time here, this guy. Resignment, flag, 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 flag. It's quite a lot of flagging here on the five minute. Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> so <laughs> we're at move 13 and he's left himself with two minutes. Okay.
Uh, okay. So, all right. Let's imagine Queen B6. Now Knight B5. He's got Bishop takes B2. Bishop B5. Maybe he's got Knight A7. There's Bishop C4. There's always Bishop C4 after that. We've got Bishop C4 straight off the bat. And he's weakened his. Uh, all right, we've marked out this. I can't play Queen D2, so I'm going to play King H1. Just in case I do lose that pawn, I'm going to play right, Rook G1. Okay, support the pawn. Well, I've got that D5 square to work with, which I'll work with now. Also, I've got Bishop C4. Okay, I can take this and uh, get some in going Bishop H6 maybe. Bishop c4 then threatens stuff on the diagonal. Is f4 actually playable here? Take, take. That e6 pin takes, takes, take on d4. I think f4 might be playable. Undermining d4. So knight takes f4 here. So takes check takes. So knight g6 is kind of tasty for taking a uh, and queen h5. Queen f6 does knight e6 maybe. Oh, he's on f3. There's rook g2 there. So knight e6 is possible. Maybe queen g4. So knight six, queen g4 puts a lot of pressure on black, I think. So he can't play check, he's going to lose e6. Alright, I've got this luxury move as well because the bishop's protecting. It's almost queen g6 if he's not careful. Right. I think there's a way of winning material here. Just a rook takes. Bishop takes, he's got takes, takes, he's got perpetual. I might just rook g2, that seems the nasty pin. There's g5, I don't believe in g5. Well, this this ah oh, this was a comfortable game because he just consumed so much time. The guy is not that quick. Oh, he says what a game. Okay, all right, thanks. All right, but he is a major chess enthusiast. That doesn't matter the result. Okay, to say what a game. Great. Okay, um, let's have a quick uh, look. Yeah, I tried to get off beat. That did seem to suit my opponent for using huge amounts of time. Slightly off beat. So f4. Yeah, d4 vulnerable. Diagonal. Looks dangerous. So here, if you know, takes a uh, check, I have taken on f4, whatever. That's out of the question. Or taking here, I just take, take on d4. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.